Hello again, lovely people. I just wanted to do a quick little update. Um, if you watched my last video, I know I mentioned that I would be doing a breakdown video of all the electronics within my Spot Micro Nova project, um, which I will do, but I'm just still working on the hardware a little bit, and I just wanted to show what that process is like and what I'm working on right now. Um, I just finished setting up the MPU unit, so that's working pretty cool. I'll demo that in another video coming soon. But right now what I'm working with is um, a current sensor, an ACS712 module, which is right here. And basically my thought was, um, so in the development of this, several times I've pushed the motors too far or in the wrong direction, or even worse, the legs have locked together, one trying to go in a certain direction and hitting the other one and then it can't. Well, for those of you who know when, know when it comes to servo motors, uh, they're pretty, <laughs> um, how shall I say, aggressive. So they won't stop. They'll keep trying to go where you tell them to go. So if that happens and they can't get there, you if you're set up to a power meter, you'll see your amperage go through the roof and I've blown up a few motors or burned them up at least. So that being said, yes, I really wanted a solution to that. So when... Nova's walking around, if she happens to get her legs crossed or in a jam, I won't burn out motors. So what I want to do is sense the current, okay, and at max the, each motor will pull maybe a, an amp. So I'm going to monitor the amperage, and, and at no time should they all be pulling that sort of amperage. So I'm calling my limit to be about 7 or 8 amps is what I'm going to play around with. If she reaches that sort of amperage draw and it lasts for more than a few seconds, I'm going to kill the whole thing. So you can see my code here, it's monitoring that. So that module lets you um, reduce the current down to a, a, a reasonable current that an Arduino pin can understand. So then you can monitor it. So you can see here these decimal points, that's, that's the current draw. And then I held on to one of the legs when it was moving, and then you see the amperage bumped up to a full amp. So, um, yeah, and right now I just have my threshold set for one and a half just so I could test it. And then it throws a warning, counts to 10, which isn't really 10 seconds. And then if it reaches that, which means she's stuck in that amperage draw, then I shut it down. Okay, and the way that I've, the circuit I came up with or actually found on the internet to control switching of power via Arduino using an n-channel MOSFET and then a diode and a resistor and the load comes into here and then sits in between this whole board here this circuit sits in between my motors and that power input power input 6.8 volts and the pwm board that's in there so when i detect a problem I'll give it 10 seconds or so, if that, and then at that point, I'll just switch off this n-channel MOSFET, which should, should, which should and does switch off the 6.8 volts to my motors, and she just goes limp. <laughs> so, it's exactly what I wanted to do. So, pretty cool addition to the whole system. As you can see, my workbench is a complete mess right now, so I definitely want to get this little project finished up, and then clean up the workbench, and then we'll come back... And I'll go over all that I put into this. She's also got to the point, I also mentioned in my previous video, that I had reprinted a bunch of the shell pieces. Because the original design is a little too flimsy. And you can see here, this finally broke off on me. So, it's time to do that too. I was hesitating because I have to take off all these components that I've gone ahead and attached to these parts. Like my switches and display on that side. The OLED and the ultrasonic sensors over here, so all well and good. So the next video will be a disassemble, and we'll talk about all the of the electronics. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching.